Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here today, folks. And John Heyman has just dropped a bombshell on a relief pitcher that it's kind of weird seeing, not in a Yankees uniform, potentially happening here. And you know that he's still a free agent. There is some rumblings, though. We'll get to that. But before we get started, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Clem and I appreciate all the support. As we are, I think it's only 59 away from 4,000. Thank you guys for all the support as of late. Now, like I said, John Heyman is reporting that the Marlins are among teams considering Chapman, who lives in South Florida. And, you know, you think of Chapman and it's, this hard-nosed, closing, left-handed pitcher who can throw 100-plus miles an hour fastball, get guys swinging, da de da de da and you're just scratching your head like, why isn't this guy picked up yet? We're already a few months in the, or a few months in the free agency here, and you got all those big names who signed, Trey Turner, Verlander, you know, DeGrom, going elsewhere. A lot of teams changing up. Even the Cubs arguably could be a really good favorite for the World Series this year. Now you go look at Chapman. It's like any team would love to have this guy on their roster. And you know he could be waiting for the Yankees to come to him and say hey we got this offer. And there could be some contract talks but we're not going to get into that. We're going to talk about how the Marlins should go after Chapman and Yes, he is 34 as of today. His numbers have declined over the last three years. But he is still a top nose, top tier closer or long or late reliever who the or or not the Orioles, the Marlins. Sorry, it's been a long day. The Marlins could go out and use to help bolster their bullpen, help them make the next step. The Marlins are now out of that scenario where they're not the team that everyone just walks all over. They put up a fight. It's been like that for the last few seasons. They are getting better. They got a lot of young talent, good starting pitching, and it's going to come together here in the next, maybe this year, next year. Coming up soon, it is going to happen where the Marlins are going to be one of those teams. Teams are going to actually have to game plan for to try and not lose to them. And adding a guy like Chapman, yes, last year he went 4-4 four and four in 43 games played with a 4.46 ERA. The year before that was 3.36, the year before that 309, and the year before that was 221. He's not at that 200 mark anymore or the 1.55s he was back in 2016, 2015 there. But when he went from Cincinnati to the Yankees, but he is still that type of player that, you know, over his career, he's literally 44-35 and 35 with a 2.4 ADR8. He's a left-handed pitcher, which a lot of teams need. And I would say the Blue Jays probably called about him, but they have Tim Meza. And there's other teams that are probably, like, worried about the health of Chapman, the decline of Chapman. He is 34. The fastball is not going to be that 100 mile an hour fastball that we've came accustomed to seeing. It's going to drop to the 97 range. That's probably as low as it's going to drop for the next few years. And then it'll drop again to probably in 95 range. Of course, when you get older, it is going to be one of those things where you got to watch his arm. But if you're the Marlins, take him on a two year deal right now. You know, help bolster that bullpen. Teach some of the younger guys some new tricks. That is what I love about sports and this vet veteran leadership of players. You see it in hockey, you see it in football, you see it in baseball. It's a great thing to have. And it could be a mentor for the young Marlin relievers and starting pitchers. Having a guy like Chapman on your team, watching him night in, night out, talking to him, learning some new techniques... It could be the littlest things that he talks to. It could even just be, hey, I know yesterday was a rough game for you, but hey, that's the past. Move on. Chapman is that one type of guy to lift the morale up for a team. 
So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think the Marlins should go after Chapman? And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as I am on out of here. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you later tonight. Have a good one.